Uh, it is a school. Um, we can see that uh, a lot of learning is going on. It's very different to our own system. I come from a very traditional school with classrooms and closed doors and walls around the classrooms and discrete lessons in every subject. Um, and, and this is completely different. The children have a lot more freedom. They're able to choose what they do more. There's a lot of emphasis on the different intelligences and children using their particular strengths in order to access the curriculum. Um, but yes, it's a school. Parents often say to me, but this school doesn't look like a school. And I always respond by asking, well, what should a school look like? In my mind, it should look like a workplace. And what does the parents' workplace look like? What will a modern workplace look like in the coming decades? Well, maybe it will look more like this school an ordinary workplace for the children leaving this school. So the physical framework is very, very important. And the framework at this school gives us so many possibilities that we don't actually see any limitations. And the relationship between teaching and building and between building and teaching has to be there. And I believe you have to think about teaching first, and then the building. In that way, you get the right relationship. It feels more like home. And I think the children feel as though they have more control over their environment. Uh, they feel that they can use the environment rather than being restricted by it. I think it helps them to feel comfortable. Uh, the children are, are lying on settees or working on the floor. There's plenty of space for them to work. Um, they can go and have something to eat when they need it. Each home area has got a kitchen. Uh, it's made to feel homely. They have candles on the tables and they're able, they are allowed to arrange the furniture the way that they want it to be. So I think it gives them some element of control. The children here show a lot of confidence. You know, they're very comfortable with themselves, I think, and having had to make choices and to think about who they are and how they learn, uh, I think does affect their, their personality and how they're going to be able to cope. If you're going to start a school development project, it's really, really important to stay faithful to the vision of what it is we want to achieve. And for that, you need political courage, you need support from local authorities, you need management knowledge and skills, and you need educational innovation. For me, it's not a precondition that there's a building. For me, it's a precondition that there's a will to change. But a good building makes life much easier and the development process much easier.